So uh, I'm standing here with the Explorer 510, the new beacon terminal from Cobham Satcom. It's a small little beacon terminal. It's what is, is called a class two Inmarsat beacon terminal. So it does up to 464 kilobits per second. It has a built-in SIP server. It is Wi-Fi, but also USB host. So it is a, a rocket terminal. It has IP66 rating. So that means that you can use it in any type of environment. You can leave it outside. It is ruggedized. It is uh, dust and waterproof. So I'm just going to show you how easy it is to use. Uh, we have no LCD displays, no nothing. So basically, it's a on and off button. Uh, and basically that's what you need. So um, turning it on now, pushing the, um, the on and off button. Um, it takes around 30 seconds or so to, to start up the, uh, the, uh, the machine inside, the beacon, uh, the terminal. So what, what you hear now is basically the pointing help. Uh, if you're not pointed, it'll, it, it'll beep, but it goes in, into a, a very high tone and shows you when it's pointed. So basically, this is what we need. We need a high, uh, as high a tone as possible. We can just, just find the right position, and we push the on and off button once again, and now it's searching or, and registering to the Inmarsat network. So when it does that, uh, the easiest way to control and manage the terminal is using your, your own phone, your own iPhone. It has what we call a responsive web interface, meaning that it's optimized for any screens. Uh, the web MMI is optimized for any screen size. So whether it's a laptop or whether it's a, an, I, uh, an iPhone or an iPad, this is, um, this is optimized for that. So basically what I do is I connect to the Wi-Fi. It has a Wi-Fi access point. So um, I connect to the Explore 510 in this case. Uh, out of the box, the uh, the password is the serial number, so the serial number is on the back of the terminal. And uh, it says now that I'm connected to the Explore 510. Basically what I do then is I open up the Beacon app that we have made called the Explore Connect app. And, uh, and, and now I can go in, start the data connection. I can use the SIP phone functionality. So basically I can use my own device, whether it's a smartphone or an iPhone or a, an Android phone and I can make calls over the Beacon network. I don't even have to have an active data session running, so as long as it's registered on the network, I can use that SIP functionality. So, so basically now, I have the terminal access, I can go into the web MMI, I can start stop the data sessions, I can, I can uh, do all the configuration I want, I can, um, I can get all the help in, in a normal router, so to speak, uh, a Wi-Fi router. So that is the 5, 510. I'm now starting the standard data connection and within seconds I'm, uh, I'm up and running on the, on the Beacon network.